Welcome back. Let us continue with the problem solving. In the previous lecture, we took some examples where the developed equations could be applied in solving some numerical problems. Let us now extend our discussion to another type of problem. The question is, calculate the standard molar entropy of N2 gas at 298 Kelvin from its rotational constant is given B is equal to 1.9987 centimeter inverse and its vibrational wave number is given. The problem that we discussed in the previous lecture was based upon moment of inertia. Okay, remember B is equal to H cross by 4 pi C i. So, if I know a moment of inertia, I can get the rotational constant. And towards the vibration side, there we talked about frequency. And here we are talking about the wave number. So, H nu is equal to H C nu bar. So, these should be easily interconvertible. The question that we need to address here is the standard molar entropy of nitrogen gas. When I say standard molar, we are talking about the standard state standard states that we represent by the symbol this and we put pressure here is equal to 1 bar and molar, molar means I will talk about S M naught. This is what basically I mean. For the sake of simplification, I will not write M and naught. I will simply write as, but you take it as standard molar entropy. The question says that you evaluate, you calculate the standard molar entropy from the given values of rotational constants and vibrational wave number. So, therefore, we need to find out such a connection. Obviously, we need to connect entropy with the molecular partition function. So, we know that entropy is equal to u minus u0 by t plus k log q that we know. Now, since we are dealing with nitrogen gas, when you are dealing with nitrogen gas, the gas molecules are indistinguishable. When the molecules are indistinguishable, then canonical partition function is equal to q raised to the power n by n factorial. So, what I have now is S is equal to now u minus u0 by t plus k log q raised to the power n over n factorial which is now I can write u minus u 0 by t plus k log q raised to the power n minus k log n factorial. All right. Let me rewrite it s is equal to u minus u0 by t plus n k log q minus k log n factorial is n log n minus n. Okay. Next s is equal to u minus u0 by t n k is equal to n r we have discussed many times log q minus n r log n plus n r. Right? We are doing this k times n is equal to k, n is equal to n times n a and k into n a is r which is equal to n r. This is what we have done. Let me write down this on the next slide. 
what I have is S is equal to u minus u 0 by t this is 1. Then we had n r log q plus n r log q minus n r log n minus n r log n plus n r. Now, we need to also connect this u minus u 0 by t with the molecular partition function and that also we know u minus u 0 is equal to minus n by q del q by del beta at constant volume which I can write as minus n del log q del beta at constant volume d q by q can be written as d log q. Now, sometimes it becomes easier if you differentiate with respect to temperature than when you differentiate with respect to beta. Beta is equal to 1 by k t. So, therefore, temperature derivative can also be done with respect to temperature or it can be with respect to beta. Now, you consider d by d t, let us I write d by d t, I can write as d beta by d t into d by d beta, mathematically that is allowed and remember beta is equal to 1 over k t. Therefore, d d beta, therefore, when you take its derivative, it will come minus 1 over k t square, this is d beta by d t into d d beta. So, that means, d d beta I can write as minus k t square d by d t. This is mathematically allowed. I will now use this information over here. That means, now I have u minus u 0 is equal to minus sign and minus sign will go away. So, I will have it is square minus minus plus n k t square into del log q by del t at constant volume. What I have done is simply change the differentiation from d d beta to d d t. Now, let us substitute this information into this expression. What I have now s is equal to u minus u naught by t. So, therefore, 1 t with t square 1 t will get cancelled. So, I will have n k t n k t del log q del v del t at constant volume plus n r log q minus n r log n plus n r. We have reached up to this. This t square becomes t because u minus u naught by t is used. Now, what I will do next is to make the things little easier, I will combine these two terms. Let us say, if I combine these two terms, I can write n times k del t log q del t at constant volume plus n r minus n r log n, right. This n k also I can write n r. So, therefore, now I will write s is equal to n r del t log q 
del T at constant volume plus n r minus n r log n. Let me write this. I hope this, this is clear to you that these two can be combined to write this derivative. If you open up this derivative, you will get this expression. For example, when you act upon del t log q by del t, then it is derivative of a into b. So, t into del log q by del t at constant volume, this first term, then plus log q, plus log q this term, n r is anyway common. Let us write this expression on the next page for further solving. So, I have s is equal to n r del t log q del t at constant volume plus n r minus n r log n. The given question is on nitrogen, nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas is going to have translational degree of freedom, is going to have vibrational degree of freedom, is going to have rotational, all translational, rotational, vibrational degrees of freedom are there. So, therefore, I need to calculate the entropy due to translational contribution, rotational contribution, vibrational contribution. First of all, let us talk about translational. When I talk about translational, then Q translational is equal to V upon lambda Q. Lambda is equal to H upon root 2 pi m k t. So, that means this is equal to V upon lambda cube upon H cube 2 pi m k t raised to the power 3 by 2. This is what I am going to get v upon lambda cube. We are asked to solve this at t equal to 298 Kelvin, 25 degrees centigrade. And we are given standard state conditions. Right? I said I am not writing naught, but assume that this is naught. That means I can get v naught, v, p, v, m naught is equal to R t, where p is also p naught, which is 1 bar. By using this, you can get v m naught equal to R t by p naught. Temperature is given, pressure is given, which is 1 bar. You can convert into atmosphere and use the you know appropriate units. This comes out to 24.78 8 liter, which is equal to 24.78 into 10 raise to the power minus 3 meter cube. When you actually substitute this QT into here, listen to me carefully. When you put this q t into here and write an expression for translational contribution. Go back to Sekou tetrod equation. We have included n factorial factor and come up with this expression including n r minus n r log n. Therefore, this expression when you apply for translational contribution will eventually take the form of Sekou tetrode equation. And what is Sekou tetrode equation? N r log I will write e raised to the power 5 by 2 
टू पाई एम के टी रेज टू दावर थ्री बाई टू इन टू वी आई पुट वी एम नॉट राइट आई एम आई एम नॉट राइटिंग स्टैंडर्ड स्टेट ऑन दैट साइड बट कंसिडर दिस एज ए स्टैंडर्ड स्टेट दिस इज इक्वल टू और आई विल हैव एन ए इन टू एच क्यूब आई एम नॉट डिराइविंग दिस बिकॉज वी हैव डिराइव इट अर्लियर इन फैक्ट वेन यू पुट क्यू टी इज इक्वल टू वी बाई एच क्यूब टू बाई एम के टी रेज टू पार थ्री बाई टू हेयर इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस सेक्यू टेटरोड इक्वेशन वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ वी एम नॉट एम वी नो फॉर नाइट्रोजन ट्वेंटी एट डिवाइडेड बाई एवोगेड्रो कॉन्स्टेंट इन टू टेन टू पार माइनस थ्री वी नो बोल्ट कॉन्स्टेंट वी नो प्लैंक्स कॉन्स्टेंट वी नो एवोगेड्रो कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वेन यू सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यूज दिस इज कमिंग टू बी इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी पॉइंट फोर जाउल्स पर पर मोल we have got now the translational contribution we still have to get the rotational contribution and vibrational contribution let us now work towards obtaining rotational contribution if we go back or we can just take a look at this expression for translational contribution we have already included the n factorial expansion remember we used q is equal to q raised to the power n by n factorial okay this molecular partition function is the product of translational rotational vibrational etc but n factorial is not coming with each q n factorial is coming only one that we are including here along with the translational contribution you can include with rotational also vibrational or whatever you, because this factor is going to come only once we have included here in secu tetrod equation therefore we need not use it when we discuss rotational contribution or we discuss vibrational contribution let us now switch over to rotational contribution so rotational for rotational contribution what i will do is i will use same thing nr del t log q by del t constant volume and i am not going to use the rest of the term because those have already been used with the translational contribution now q rotational is equal to 1 upon sigma h c beta b that we know i can write this as kt over sigma h c b beta is equal to 1 over kt all right so what i will do now is i'll substitute here sr is equal to nr into let's see what do we get if i keep t by q del q del t this one will come plus log q will come into del t by del t one this all is going going to be at constant volume let us see what we get t by q t by q q is kt into sigma hcb into del q by del t when i take derivative of the partition function with respect to t this is going to be k over sigma hcb that's it and plus log q this is the bracketed term and you already have here nr so what i have now sr is equal to nr into 
K T sigma H C B and K T sigma H C B cancel, so I have one plus log Q, where Q here is Q R only. Or what I have N R into log Q is what? Q is K T over sigma H C B. This is log Q. Plus one. This is what I have. But remember that we are using the high temperature result because we are using Q R is equal to K T by sigma H C B, which is only possible if the temperature, rotational temperature, is higher than the actual temperature. So, for that what you will do is you will use K theta R is equal to H C B, use this, you put in the value you will get theta R equal to 2.87 Kelvin, right and your given temperature is equal to 298 Kelvin which is much higher than 2.87 Kelvin. So, therefore, it is justified to use QR is equal to KT over sigma HCB. Now, you substitute the values and what you will get is 41.14 joules per Kelvin per mole. K is Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature which is given to you sigma a is equal to uh, in this case it is a nitrogen so therefore sigma is equal to 2 and h is planck's constant c is speed speed of light and b is the rotational constant we have done for rotational contribution also and now let us talk about the vibrational contribution so sv is equal to nr del T log Q, Q here is Q V over del beta del T at constant volume. So, what I have now is let us do it. Q vibrational is 1 over 1 minus exponential minus H C nu bar by K T. I am writing in terms of temperature. Therefore, my S V becomes N R, it will be easier if I talk in terms of log Q. I am not writing V here for simplicity. So, this is minus log 1 minus exponential minus H C nu bar by K T. This is what I have. Now, let us take the step forward and expand this differentiation. What I have? Now, T into derivative of log Q, derivative of this, which is going to be minus 1 divided by 1 minus exponential minus H C nu bar by K T. into minus exponential minus H C nu bar by K T into next derivative is equal to H C nu bar by K T square with a plus sign. This is what will come. then plus log q v let us combine now s is equal to what it will come n r into 
एच सी न्यू बार बाई के टी दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस टर्म एंड दिस टर्म एंड देन आई हैव into exponential minus h c new bar by k t divided by 1 minus exponential minus h c new bar by k t and log q we already we have it is minus log 1 minus exponential minus h c new bar by k t right quite complicated term substitute the value hc new bar by kt all numbers are given to you new bar is given to you when you calculate this comes to 11.38 and when you use this into this expression what you will find that sv vibrational contribution is nearly zero approximately zero numbers are going to be very small so now we have s total let's say this will be s translational plus s rotational plus s vibrational we have s total is equal to s translational was 150.4 s rotational was 41.14 and this was zero so many joules per kelvin per mole so therefore your entropy comes out to 191.54 joules per kelvin per mole quite a lengthy numerical problem but at least it discusses how the different contributions must enter in when you evaluate the overall thermodynamic quantity here we have shown for the case of entropy but suppose if the question is for gibbs function or for helmholtz function or enthalpy then you must include the translational contribution rotational contribution or vibrational contribution whichever contribution whichever mode of motion is fully active in this particular case you noticed that there is a sizable number coming up from translational contribution and rotational contribution and vibrational contribution was nearly zero so i hope that this particular example has brought in clarity on how to calculate a thermodynamic quantity from the molecular partition function which has different contributions such as translational rotational vibrational and if the temperature is so high then the electronic we will discuss a few more problems but in the next lecture thank you very much